Et yes Il borde Dumpy. Oh. Oh. You heard it here first. Bitcoin is going to zero. When it comes out, zero. Just hold all it, bro. May week two, markets taking a bit of a tumble today. Welcome back to the TGH newscast. How is everyone today? I mean, I'm personally fine, but I know a lot of the market isn't. So, you know, uh, sorry to anyone that isn't doing too great today, but, you know, keep the chin up. Yeah. <laughs> On a quick note there, all the pro traders, this is when they come out to play. They're going to work now when there's fear, yeah. when there's blood and mm-hmm. fear and everyone's scared. That's when the, the real traders, the real investors are out waiting for It's this. so much fun now. This is so much more fun than just pure crab. I would much rather yeah. have some volatility than yeah, just 100%. It's been boring, hasn't it? It's like, like yeah, we needed this so that we, we need a bounce, some drama, yeah, and, and but you can't have a bounce without a little capitulation. So, you know, it makes it a little more fun. I was thinking we were just going to go up, obviously, in my in the last few bids, but you know, uh, Bitcoin dropped by like 11 and a half percent, and ETH dropped by 10.8. Uh, funny enough, ETH beat bitcoin on the week um it's positive on the pair which is kind of wild normally on uh drawdown markets um eth draws down way worse than bitcoin um and this is one of the few times that we have straight up just not seen a harsh bleed by bitcoin or eth against bitcoin when bitcoin was at when bitcoin was at 33k last may eth went down to 1750 yeah yeah bitcoin's now at 31k 30 and a half thousand mm-hmm. and ETH is still at 22 2200 yeah and 26 so, yeah. actually looks pretty bullish Unbelievable. yeah yeah the pair is nuts i i'm kind of uh, impressed um uh, i've read some kind of funny tweets that the ultimate pain would be the flipping happening not at an ETH all-time high but <laughs> i don't think that'll happen <laughs> uh <laughs> it would be That's hilarious yeah. i would kind of cry a little bit but <laughs> I would also be laughing, so you know. I, didn't I don't think know. About I just that. Think it's you always, yeah, wild, right? you always think the flipping will be when uh, ETH is absolutely flying and the yeah. market's on fire. But yeah, flip the flipping could be in a bear market. <laughs> Technically, it could, which would be hilarious. Um, you know, just from a horrible viewpoint. Yeah. Just a quick one, <laughs> guys. Do you think we're in a bear market? Like, and if you do or don't, give me some perspective on what your opinions are just quickly just really quick oh goodness that, that's oh, a very long man. question but let me just throw this out there then we've not broke 30k support um yeah NFT, we're still in NFT, the same range we're still in the same range nfts at uh, all-time high volume last <laughs> month how can there be all-time high volume in the market when we're in a bear market surely that i i would say this is possibly a bearish trend but I would not call this a bear market. Yeah. In See, no, no. yeah, that, that's that's my personal that we're just in a massive accumulation range. And yeah, there's bear and bull trends, but that doesn't mean that we're just going to go minus 80% from here. Get me, yeah, don't, don't get me wrong. I would love a, a bear market, a bear winter to, 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 to accumulate at really low prices. I would love that. But I just can't yeah. see it when you've got Do Kwan, um most we just about said before, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> Do Kwan's no, well, not helping right now. Technically, Do Kwan's not helping. helping right now. Well, technically, he could, couldn't he? Because he has to buy more Bitcoin to stabilize the pair, the, pe- the peg and the pair, doesn't he? No idea. No. We will see, anyways. But it doesn't. I mean, I mean, even that. even if we go to a bear market, if we have a bearish trend, whatever. There are always certain narratives popping up which will make you bang yes. anyways. Like we yeah. just had with FitFi, with GMT, GST. They're just making bank, bank no matter what market conditions we have. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. True. True. There's always uh, focused bulls. Yeah. So, and you know, the trick is I, to find them. I think now during this time of market, there's a lot of, um, not so much emotions, but opinions. And they get stronger mm-hmm. as the market gets lower and lower. The opinions get stronger and stronger. Mm-hmm. I'm just not convinced we're in a bear market after being through 2018, 2019. 
That was a yeah. bear market. That was fucking. That was a fucking bear market. This is yeah. just. I'm still killing it. I'm killing it. Smash, <laughs> smash not NFTs. Trading Stepan, killing it. The swings, you know, the volatile, the volatility, the volume. It's just like it's just not fucking bear market. I remember in 2018, 2019, you couldn't even fucking trade like the market. It was just dead. It was just like flatlining. For fucking weeks. Then sometime in June it fucking pumped like free X and then died again. I remember. remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I, I remember in June. Uh, I was like, painful. finally, finally it's happening. Oh, back to that. All right. Just kidding. That See wrecked me year. that. That wrecked me that because I was like, I'm, I'm such a good trader. I just fucking buy anything. I'm, I'm, I make money. This, this, was in, this was in June 2018. I was like, yeah. I'm the best trader. I can't lose. <laughs> I, I can't lose. Because it just goes straight up. Shit. And, and then the 17. Fuck off. I learned the hard way. Okay, guys, yeah, we got yeah. on with, with, with the news. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so into some uh, official regulatory listings. Uh, we appear to be making headway towards an actual spot Bitcoin ETF. The SEC has, quote unquote, said they are willing to approve an ETF, but they have extremely stringent requirements. Um, this is a really good response, though, because they've actually just approved um, the Valkyrie Bitcoin futures ETF. Um, and so that's a good step towards the spot ETF. Um, we'll see if they actually approve any time in the coming weeks or months, but this would give massive volume and uh, hype, in my opinion, because it's actual Bitcoin versus yeah, just uh, numbers on you know a screen. So that, that'll be huge, but it's uh, definitely the best response we've gotten um, in months, frankly, from the SEC. So we'll just have to see. Um, now for the... First time ever, a uh, house in Portugal was purchased uh, for three Bitcoin um, with no conversion to stables or fiat. Uh, this was the first real estate deed uh, ever in the world uh, that functions completely in Bitcoin. Uh, this person literally bought a house with wait, three wait, wait, Bitcoin wait, 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 wait. and wow. it- signed the papers and wham, bam, three Bitcoin no was tax. sent to the seller. No, and No tax either. Oh, I, I'd, I'd have to double I check, but I'm pretty sure there were sales taxes. Just the possibility is quite nice because right. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be able to do that here. Yeah, look, yeah, 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 no, it's actually it's really interesting. Cool. For, the, for those who don't well. know, yeah, exactly. I was just about to say, no fucking mm-hmm. crypto tax over there. So mm-hmm. Portugal's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just so make fact, sure to not, first. not sell your bitcoins for a house at 30k. Um, yeah, so uh, going on to our next one. Uh, sorry, we got a little off track there. Um, we have finally seen a positive inflow from Bitcoin and ETH onto exchanges. Uh, I said that I would update when this finally happens. It's been like six weeks in a row um, that we've had more outflows than inflow. And so we've finally seen some inflow. And it looks like a lot of these are private wallets that are short-term sellers or short-term, short-term holders, excuse me, that are causing this dip. Um on top of that, however, uh, we Fucking should mention Bitcoin. that UST is at risk of depegging today. Um, yeah, at the moment, they're at 93 cents. So I don't know. Do you guys consider that a depeg? I would. I would, yeah. It's been to, that. It's been to, 90, yeah. It's been to 86, as in Indiana. Uh, nine, nine, 91. It's been to 91, yeah. But I 91 now? 86 oh. at some stage. It's higher now. It's got back up a little bit, but it was at 91 before. Um, okay, I've, yeah. I've not, I've not seen that 86. It could have gone to 86, but I've not. I've, I've seen that 91. I've not looked at the chart and to get back up. Yeah, it's a, it was at 93 last I checked. It, it bounced back up here. I, I I can pull up the chart right now. UST, USDT. And yeah, I've got, have ourselves 94.8 cents. So um, it sounds like the LFG, the Luna Foundation Guard, is selling Bitcoin to buy back UST to maintain their peg. Wow um which is massive uh if you want to look into that you can actually check the wallets uh but yeah that's causing quite a bit of hubbub it just says here um he split the funds up 12.5k and 30k bitcoin going in separate ways supposedly a chunk has been sent to okex as well so, yeah, he's selling think, it to BDC. buy back ust yeah the he fud, is yeah. the fud though that they're supposed to be causing now it's going to be hard to bounce back from that, isn't it? I mean, who's going to want to hold their stables in UST now after this that's, happening? That's, very that's the problem, yeah. Who the hell in the right mind is going to want to hold any substantial amount of money in, in UST now? I certainly wouldn't. 
I was, that's I was why just about I to say if USDT or USDC would be at like low 90 cents right now, I would be fucking panicking then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, oh, yeah. Same. I, if, yeah, if USDC was at 93 cents, I'd be very worried. 100%, 100%. Personally. <laughs> like, unstable. Yeah, so, you'd, be un- yeah. you'd be unstable. <laughs> oh, that fits the UST actually pretty good. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> yeah okay so let's let's uh, go into some positive stuff uh with uh, some tgh picks news uh starting off we have digital bits with two announcements today uh the first being that those uh trademarks we mentioned last week for beckham for the nf uh for their nfts in the metaverse are exclusive to digital bits um this basically just means that beckham won't be making any deals with any other layer once um which is pretty big um, especially when you consider that the FIFA 2022 World Cup has now been sponsored by Adidas and Beckham, who Beckham has yeah. a lifetime deal with Adidas, Ooh. and Beckham also has an exclusive deal with XDB. So yeah. we will leave that uh, potential link up for you to decide. Yeah. Um, but I, we find that interesting. Adidas at least I, are, at least I do. Yeah, Adidas are exploring the <laughs> NFT realm, and so are Reebok. They're, they're all starting <laughs> to dip their toes in. And yeah, yeah. They're, they're all linked to Beckham. They've all got stakes, or the, or he's so in funny enough. Um, yeah, no, so funny enough. Right on top of this, uh, on the back of the XTB news, um, the founder himself, uh, Albergio, he just released a new tweet, um, talking about how there will be a fungible and non fungible week coming up. So, uh, <laughs> for anyone that knows what that means, oh. it just means that it sounds like there's going to be some NFTs releasing here this week. So, um, in light of, you know, Adidas and big companies getting into NFTs, maybe we see some of the Beckham stuff soon. Uh, mm-hmm. like, like we said, it's a huge opportunity. You can either see it two ways. It's a huge opportunity or doom and gloom. It's like... Yeah. Well, you know I mean? people are, people are seizing money. opportunities as well. El Salvador just bought the dip, 500 coins, average USD price of $30,000 or 744. Oh, no, savage. The lowest. Yeah. People yeah. buying it, man. Yeah, it's pretty good. 500... Yeah. D- you say 500? Yeah, 500, 500 cheap, cheap, cheap asses. <laughs> cheap, fucking cheap, cheap fuckers. <laughs> Only 500. I was like, he better not just have 500 dead. I'll fucking see me ass. <laughs> <laughs> fucking 500. Should have bought millions. Wipe my ass with 500 Bitcoin. I thought you'd missed a million off the end there. I was like, 500. Careful. <laughs> 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 okay uh so on, on on to the next one sorry uh, that was good uh so while the world has released some more trailers and sneak peeks uh we're gonna include those videos here um and, and if you can't tell absolutely gorgeous um i mean really these are just good. two skyscrapers here that they've just created and um they literally look real i don't know how else to say it they look real like, like let me put graphics it, graphics wise they, they've been on top with everything so far like the sneakers yeah. the wolves everything looks amazing mm-hmm. like i just really i really want to play i'm very excited because it's also like a thousand times the size of gta so the only, the only thing i'm not sure about is there's, there's different metaverses for what you want to do i thought it was just one massive world but there's loads of little metaverses i, I, I just i don't know I mean, what do you mean how... in well, in wilder worlds yeah, so while the world will be multiple different metaverses, depending on or, what you No, want. it's all one metaverse, but it's oh, all it? like they, they literally built different planets within the same metaverse. Oh. So you can travel between the planets and right, do different okay. things on each, but it's all within the same Great, game, great, great. Which great, is great. cool. I, th- yeah. I thought I read that it was four separate ones or whatever <laughs> it was, or eight. I was like, what? They do have different game modes added in so that like you can go into a separate like I guess you could say server yeah. within the metaverse mm-hmm. to play a certain like game. Like if you want to do racing, you're not going right. to load everyone else in the server at the same time, or else it's going to get it's kind of like instanced. Like you have dungeons and shit that's in other games. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, yeah. just just walking around in the metaverse. Next minute, fucking car. Right. Awesome. You run over. No. <laughs> Lost all your coins. You lose all your coins. No. Who was that motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Private key gone. In Discord and Telegram. Driving, plus 500 points. In the- <laughs> Discord and Telegram. Admin! <laughs> this, this prick run me over. <laughs> Can I have my health back, please? Can I get a revive in this bitch? 
<laughs> no, yeah. So I, I think that they have it set up very well, um, where it will be different different sections, but all within the same game. So uh, I'm really excited for it because they oh, just put out. Oh, Quan just shit. shared on Instagram literally minutes ago, deploying more capital. Steady, lads. Yeah, I saw that. Saw that. Saw that. <laughs> Wait, who did? The Quan. Should, should have mentioned that, shouldn't we? Actually, um, yeah, good point there, Panda. Do Quan. Yeah. Wait, what did Doquan just say? He's deploying Sorry. more capital, capital. So he's, buy, he's buying more Bitcoin by the looks of it. No, he's buying more UST. Maybe he's not maybe. buying more Bitcoin. That's the mystery of today. We will see tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, my I am 99% betting he is buying UST because his goal is to maintain the peg. Mm. He doesn't okay. give a shit about the price of Bitcoin. He cares about the price of UST. All right, I'm um, followed that, that's one his... right here. Yeah, that's his project, and so he doesn't care about Bitcoin's price right now. Yeah, he cares just, about just, getting UST back to a dollar. Just to yeah, in case anyone doesn't understand, UST is is is, is the Terra backed stable coin, which is which is US, uh, which is Do Kwan's project. So he's more interested yeah. in that succeeding short. Well, anyway, long term, obviously, but right right now it's on fire because it's depegged. Right yeah, so now they they're literally to... literally fighting for their existence. A little more positive news. Uh, XCAD has launched their first governance vote to reduce emissions by 50%. That vote is officially live today at 4 p.m. UTC, um, all the way till the 12th. So we got three days uh, until then at 4 p.m. UTC. So the vote is to cut them in basically half. Uh, all emissions right now are almost exclusively private sale investors. And so um, the goal is to just cut those emissions down so that uh, there's just less of a bleed during this absolute market uh crappiness <laughs> so if you're an x kid holder and you would like to vote to uh reduce emissions by 50 percent uh you can follow the link that we'll add in the show notes um but yeah this is their first governance vote so be sure to pitch in for um you know landmark vote uh, sounds good sounds yeah, good. yeah. So, and for the last piece of news, we have Gold Fever. Um, they have announced a small delay, unfortunately, in the launch of their public release. Um, however, they did release proof of work, which is really good. Um, the reason they delayed is because um, they released the video for like what was going to be the release, yeah. and there was still some glitchiness and some server lag issues. And so they said, we don't want a public release right now. We want to fix these and then publish after they're done so that you guys have a better experience. Um, but they did publish these videos. So they're actually, you know, they're making all of this stuff. You know, it's really good to see proof of work and that they're trying to constantly improve. Because yeah. um, I'd rather play a game that is, you know, if it's so it's if it's so laggy, it's not playable, then yeah, wait a little bit and fix it. Hundred yeah, percent. Definitely. And yeah. Loads of projects have have have, <clears throat> have spoke have spoke about that. If something takes longer than expected, mm. then then take longer. It has to be right. Yes. It has yes. to be right. There's no other option. Yeah. I would so, much also, rather you. The, the first first impression time. really kicks in. If someone 100%. plays it and it's just fucking glitchy and shitty, you will never touch it again. Mm. Yeah, 100%. No matter how good the graphics look, if you can't even move without yeah. just glitching out, you're gonna and be annoyed. Everything's getting delayed now, isn't it? because of the market conditions. Uh, yeah, goons, goons has been uh, gob has been delayed again. Yeah. But you know, a lot, a of, lot of loads of projects have loads of projects. Yeah, have. The it's gonna standard standard procedure. Why would you want to yeah. launch a shit? We really surprised We wouldn't. You know, years ago, investors would they, they would have funded the project for, for not launching, but now mm -hmm. they they will fudge you for launching in a shit market. So yeah, shit. why did you do that? Kind you know, you're a dumbass. Yeah, I, I think Definitely as well, it, it just goes to show you that the market's always changing, isn't it? It's always changing. Yeah. And just just things like that, investors' attitudes, they're always changing. So what was normal a few years ago may, might not be normal now. True. So it is what it is. But anyway, guys, to finish this off, um, are we in a bear market? Are we in a bear trend? What's mm, your thoughts? Let me... We dumped over a couple of weeks, definitely. Mm -hmm. Everything's red, but... If you fundamentally researched your projects that you believe in, how did yeah. this price action change the fundamentals of it? It's still exactly the same. Nothing changed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Focus on the fundamentals of the project and the price. Um, I also tweeted out something similar. It was, it's not about what price your project is now because they're all dropping in price. Everything's dropping in price. It's about whether it's going to be able to bounce back okay. and recover. Is it going to be able to recover? Is it got anything about it, or is it, is it a, is it a shit coin? So yeah. on that note, uh, I guess we'll finish there. Um, please like, follow, 
subscribe to our YouTube channel, support us in supporting you. This is the best Ooh. weekly newscast. <laughs> the best. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. is the best. It is the best. Oh, yeah. It's the most consistent. It's the most consistent. We're, give, we're giving you the latest news on a plate every single week. So uh, We're going to keep coming back. We're going to keep coming back. Support yeah, us. Man. Support us to support you. Cheers, guys. Have a good one. Brilliant. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye.